In today's tutorial, I'm going to showcase you how you can integrate push read application with custom RSS feed of your choice on the Onyx Box Note Air device. So let's get started. First, let's navigate to the app section and let's click on the built-in application named push read. In order to be able to launch to this application, you need to have your own Onyx Box account. Once you open this application, uh, let's navigate to the RSS menu and you will see that there are no RSS feeds yet. So let's hit on the directory and add subscription button. Over there, you will see a few public known RSS uh, feed websites to which you can subscribe to. If the website or RSS feed of your choice is not on the predefined list, let's hit on the custom uh, tab and then click on the plus sign button, which is within kind of I folder icon. And let's provide the name of group or category to which the custom RSS feed will belong to. So for example, if you are subscribing to some technology websites, let's call this category or group technology and let's hit enter or OK button. Now we are able to define our custom RSS uh, feed URL. So now I'm specifying one that will subscribe to the news from cybercity.com websites through RSS feed. And this will be added to the category or group called technology that we previously created. Uh, as a second feed, uh, RSS feed, we are going to add Apple News website. Um, and you will see if I don't specify the group or category to which this RSS feed subscription belongs, I will get a warning message that the category needs to be basically selected. So let's hit on the group and let's choose the technology group. If this website will be some like belonging to different categories or so won't be like anything about the technology, we can create from this menu the new group as well. Now, if we navigate back to the RSS feed um, section, to the default RSS feed section, we'll see already imported uh, latest articles from the custom RSS feed websites that we have just subscribed to. In, in case we would like to just display the content from one particular website and view the content only for that specific website, we can hit on the directory button, expand our group or category and select the website from which we would like to read the latest news. So for example, in this case from Apple. We can also choose, uh, for example, preview mode, which we have right now, which is more dense view, but it depends on the RSS feed if it will support the preview mode. Because in many cases, we'll just get the URL of the website, but if the website supports it, it, it can showcase as few lines of the web post update so that it can hook us whether we would like to read through the article more or not. So let's select one of the available um, articles and let's see how, what is the reading experience. So you see when I select one of the articles, we'll get kind of web-based mode of, uh, of this website. However, if we click in the middle of the screen on the bottom of our Onyx Box device, we can get displayed menu, which allow us to format the website. So maybe increase the font size, size uh, but uh, there is also option to change uh, from web mode to the reading mode, which will allow us to read the article in more convenient way, desirable uh, for a ink readers. So now let's say we would like to uh, remove some of the RSS feeds which we are not interested into anymore. I haven't found a way how to unsubscribe from the RSS feed directly from Onyx Box. So that's why I went to their web page uh, based on my location. So to choose the closest server. So in my case, it's error.box.com because I'm based in Europe. 
And then I can log into the to this website through the mobile phone or email. Once I sign in, I should navigate to the internet reading section, RSS menu, and from here I could select the website from which I would like to unsubscribe and click on it, right click on it, and I will get option unsubscribe. If I move back to the Onyx Box Not Air device, we will see that uh, this RSS feed subscription has been automatically removed. Now let me remove the remaining RSS feed and also the category from the website. And now if I navigate back to the push reader, we will see that I'm not anymore subscribed to any RSS feeds. And this concludes today's short tutorial and I will see you in the next one.